How's it hanging, homies? My name's Dawn Flower, and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke Edition. I can't talk, that was a very bad intro, but uh, yeah, I haven't really done a Let's Play in a while, and all my attempts at it have always failed. But uh, this is something I've kind of always wanted to do, and I've got a lot of time on my hands right now. Um, so I figured this would be something I'd do just for the heck of it. I don't plan to really make it like super professionally edited or anything. Just kind of a simple little thing. Uh, anyway, for those of you who may not know what a Nuzlocke is, it's basically a challenge you put on yourself while you're playing the game. And I'm going to be playing with just the most basic rules, which is rule number one. If a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and you need to either release it or box it permanently. Rule number two is that you can only catch the first Pokemon in each area. Uh, I'm going to be adding on the dupes clause, which means I can't catch any uh, of the same Pokemon. So I do have a chance to get a new Pokemon if I encounter the same one again. And that also includes the evolved forms of Pokemon. And then... Uh, the third rule is to play in set mode, so I can't- I don't know beforehand what the trainer is going to be switching into. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I do have everything randomized, uh, wild encounters, trainers, Pokemons, and Pokemons, and all that stuff. And so I'm- we're all gonna be in for a surprise here, so let's go ahead and get started. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's right, this world is wildly inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm a girl. Yeah, yeah. Last time I checked. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. We're gonna go with Dawn, of course. Your name is Dawn? Yes. So your name's Dawn. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Charon. He could be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Dawn! The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon! So hopefully I didn't stumble over that intro too much. I'm always really bad at, uh, you know, introducing things, getting into things, and overall just knowing what to say. I'm not a great person for doing Let's Plays, but I do things because I like to do them, not because I'm good at them. Dawn. I heard from Professor, Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Like that little foot tapping animation. Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously, today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper. I know, sorry Dawn, sorry Charon. So where are the Pokemon? 
They were delivered to Don's house, so Don gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Don, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to be the Pokemon right now. Alright, let's see what randomized Pokemon we're going to get here. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. Alright, what are we gonna get? We've got Geodude, Glammeow, or... ooh, Breloom. Hmm... <laughs> they still have the original cries. I like that. Uh, you know what? Ooh. I'm gonna go with Breloom. He's always been one of my, well, not one of my favorites, but I've been a fan of Breloom ever since I first saw it, so yeah. And it's already fully evolved, so that might give us a bit of an advantage. So let's go with Breloom. Dontro's Breloom. Okay, I'll take this Pokemon. Charon, that one's yours. Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted this one from the start anyway. Yeah, yeah, sure you did. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that. Hey, I know. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Honestly, Bianca. Even though there's still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled. Dawn. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. I love the music in this game so much. So is she gonna have one of the other randomizers or is it gonna be a completely new... Oh yeah, nope, it's the same. Cool. Alright, what moves do we start out here? Oh, Forewarn, that's a really helpful ability. Absorb, stun score, leech seed, or tackle. Let's go ahead and absorb. It's not a bad move set to begin with. Oh, I just realized I forgot to change my battle settings, but I'll do that before we get into, you know, fights with trainers that have multiple Pokemon. Eek! Ouch! I won't let you get away with that. Sorry, I never really know uh, what to talk about during all this. That's why I already kind of talked about that. I'm really not great with Let's Plays. I never know what to say, but hopefully you guys enjoy my stupid shenanigans. I'm just gonna keep absorb- uh, spamming absorb. I chose to do black because it was the version I played when these ge uh, first came out and I haven't played it since initially beating it, you know, over a decade ago and so I really wanted to replay it and then I've also always wanted to try doing a randomizer and I think Nuzlocke's are always fun to do but I personally like, uh, you know, logging them somewhere whether it be through just screenshots or a comic or anything like that. And so I decided to do, th to do this even though I'm already doing two comics right now. And I'm probably in way over my head here. I forgot to read what she said. Uh, but like I said earlier, I've got a lot of time on my hands for some personal reasons, but yeah. Wow. Dawn, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday. I can tell. How did they do that to the room? Seriously. No doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Wh whoa What happened? Wow, Pokemon are amazing! So little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, um, sorry about your room, Dawn. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. 
Dawn's Pokemon needs to be fixed up too. Thank you very much. Hey, Charon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones who get to have fun battling. It's decided you'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Well, uh, not my first, but you know. Let's see what you can do, my Pokemon. Alright, and easy battle number two. Uh, usually Sharon is the one who uh, chooses the one that, uh, the type advantage against you. I can't talk, but this time we have the advantage against him. Ow, no, that hurt. I finally become a trainer. Everything starts from here. And bye bye Geodude. And already to level 7. Look at that. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. It sure is. I made a strong blunder in my first battle. With this feeling I have. I'm finally a trainer. But first, we'd better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Oh, I'd better come too. Way to go, guys. How did they manage that? Just little beginner Pokemon. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Oops, that was my phone. Hang on. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Shouldn't you be on your way to meet Professor Juniper? Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, wait, I've got to go home first. Thanks for having us over. I'm gonna say, my my Don. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. Yeah, I don't really need it, but thanks anyway. The Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your Cross Transceiver. Cross Transceiver. going to think the professor too, right? Better get going. Yeah, of course I am. I got a freaking breloom from her. Let's go see what Beyond gets up to. What do you have to say? The power of science is amazing. Now you could use infrared to do all sorts of things in the blink of an eye. Alright, thanks. No, no, a thousand times no. But I'm, I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. Oh. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Hmm. What nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? Eh, that's just the way it be. Don't mind my husband, dear. He's just being overprotective. All children go on adventures with Pokemon. It's part of growing up. Yeah. Even though we're still like... 10 years old, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We got a little... little... She's got a little cat. 
on her team. She'll be fine. Okay, let's go meet the professor. I think I made his voice too deep there. I'm not a voice actor though, not in the slightest. Hi there, I've been waiting for you young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name. Come, come, Charon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Yeah, don't be rude. Today's a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I'm researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came to existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle. How can she tell? So maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? Uh, yeah, I think I forgot to mention that too, but uh, nicknames are another rules I'm doing and another rules, another rule I'm doing. Uh, and I always like to go with a theme, and the theme I've chosen this time is The Legend of Zelda, which is my favorite video game series, uh, followed very closely by Pokemon. I was hoping that this Berloom would be a boy, because I thought Link would be a very fitting name, but uh, we're gonna go with Saria, because like, you know, from uh, the name slips my mind right now, but you know, forest area seems fitting for a grass type. Uh huh, I see. Are you okay with the nickname Saria? Yes, I am. Saria is its name. That is such a great name. As for why I gave all of you Pokemon, it's for the Pokedex, right? Pokedex? I'm astonished. Nice work, Jaren. You've already studied Pokemon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake. The Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokemon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. This is my request. Don, Charon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Yeah, I guess. Okay. I mean, uh, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I could become a Pokemon trainer, exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. The Pokedex. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? S since the professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. And however I want is to be a masochist and let my Pokemon die. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mom. Come on, Don, wait up! Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex. I can't believe it. Well, actually, I can. I already knew she was going to ask. That's why I brought you three of these town maps. Take them with you. Town map. Thank you, Mother. Here you are, Charon. I'll take good care of it. And one for you too, Bianca. Th thank you so much! As for your room, Don, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry. I'll take care of tidying up. Okay, Don? Ah, Pokemon. They're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They really are something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safe wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you like in the Unova region, and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip! If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go, let's go! Don, hurry and come too, okay? I will hurry, but I'm gonna do that in the next episode because I think we've been recording long enough. So thank you all for joining me. I think this has been a pretty successful first episode so far. We got a cool Pokemon and we're gonna see what we get next time. But until then, this has been Dawn Flower and I am out.